Joining me now to give his perspective on rising costs from inside the food industry is Stu Leonard Jr., the president and CEO of grocery store chain Stu Leonard. Yeah, tell those guys to be quiet. You're on live television on Fox Business, Stu. That was, that was just a customer that walked over to say, oh, by all means, I got to go. And yeah, bring him back. <laughs> um, Stu, I'm, I'm talking to Liz, right? we have a situation right now that is leading some pro um, prognosticators to predict that we will have bread shortages. Please tell me what you're seeing at the moment and what you expect to see with these high wheat prices and the situation in Ukraine and Russia, both of them together equal about 40% of the world's wheat output. You know, Liz, that was a shocking statistic I just learned. I didn't realize Ukraine and Russia produce that much of those commodities, which affects everything, even from soybean oil and things like that. So um, that'll definitely have an impact, but look, I've been in the business, our family has, for 50 years now. I've ridden these supply and demand curves uh, over my lifetime. Right now, I got to say, my crystal ball is broken. I, I can't figure out what's going to happen. Wow. But I would say this. I wouldn't say people have to worry about a shortage. I think, if anything, if there's still the demand out there, you're going to see probably the prices tick up a little bit. Okay, but Stu, uh, when you eliminate 40% of any market, you know that suddenly, at least psychologically, people may start to become preppers again, which is what we saw during the pandemic, where they may stockpile bread and put it in the freezer. Right. You seen any kind right. of behavior like that yet? Well, first of all, Liz, that's a good point. I would recommend people to do that right now. You've been talking to all these stock people about whether to buy this stock or that stock. I would say something personally you want to do, forget about the stock market, look at your own pantry and your freezer. It's probably a good time right now to stockpile some food a little bit like that. Um, you can see things like chicken, which are going up. I just brought this. This this used to cost, that Stu Leonard's, about five bucks. Well, it's eight bucks now because I'm talking to the farmer. I was just talking to a guy this morning and and um, he's got to put fuel in his tractors in the morning and his corn feed prices are going up chickens eat like a what about a pound and a half of corn every year and so it's costing him more money what i've been doing with the farmers is i've been saying to him look let's split at 50 50. i'll eat half of the increase you eat half of the increase they've all agreed to that so far I'm hoping, I've been optimistic from the beginning that all of these supply and demand disruptions are going to be settling out a little bit as in the next few months. But like I said, I've been saying that for, for uh, two years now. Well, yeah, <laughs> but the situation. It's tough. It's tough. Right. And what we're seeing now in Eastern Europe has really ramped up the anxiety, I believe. But you just made a good point about how the farmers need their gasoline. Uh, and so yeah. I, I look at that and I say, well, now we've got a real problem because it is really working its way through. I had seen this headline. Bungie uh, says its new export business from Russia has been suspended. Bungie, of course, is a big global grain trader, ticker symbol BG. And this is really starting to be a wave of companies saying, no more business with Russia. We're done. Um, you have a, a personal experience with feeling as if this is a, a story we have seen before, and I'm talking about the Nazis and uh, World War II. Hey, my mom, my mom was a Holocaust victim. Uh, you know, she was a survivor. And I'm, I tell my children, I have four daughters and, and obviously a lot of nieces and nephews, but what we're seeing in Ukraine today is sort of like what's happened to my mom. You know, she had to flee Germany back in the late 30s. Um, so it, it's very, very uh, uh, meaningful to our family what's mm -hmm. happening in the world right now. I'm, 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 I'm sad about it. I want to try to help our customers as much as I can. Um, we're stuck between a rock and a hard place as a retailer. You know, we have seven stores around the metro New York area. And on one hand, I want to keep prices low. But on the other hand, I ha have my farmers calling me and saying that, you know, prices have, uh, for them, their costs have gone up. Uh, you know, I, I can't hurt a farmer. You know, they're not, they're not, you know, fancy, fancy spenders or anything. So. I'm I'm stuck and I'm just hoping all of this will work its way out. Well, uh, but you know what? Yeah. 
Go ahead. I would say on a positive, a positive note, you want to see some the coolest product at Stu Leonard's right I now? I do. I do. Look at look at this punch that we have. Putin's punch. <laughs> okay. What is that? <laughs> This is a, a, a family business uh, up near our Connecticut store there. As a family, they come up with all these labels. They just showed this to us, and we said, we'll buy as much as you can. Yeah, punch him in the uh, face. As we can. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> but you know what? Our customers are loving this right now, and they're buying it. Uh, you know, it's just, just something, something, you know, puts a little maybe smile yeah. on somebody's face right now. Well, Stu, you've, you've put a smile on our face, but I, th I think you're right. And I've started to stockpile my favorite organic peanut butter. I, I Listen, it's, it's, a, <laughs> it's a tough situation. Good to see you, Stu. Please come back again. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Liz. Good. Thank you. Stu Leonard, Jr.